chapter 16. So they brought the ark of God into the special tent David had prepared for it, and they sacrificed burnt offerings and peace offerings before God. When he had finished, David blessed the people in the name of the Lord. Then he gave a gift of food to every man and woman in Israel, a loaf of bread, a cake of dates, and a cake of raisins. David appointed the following Levites to lead the people in worship before the ark of the Lord by asking for his blessings and giving thanks and praise to the Lord, the God of Israel. Asaph, the leader of this group, sounded the cymbals. His assistants were Zechariah the second, then Jael, Shemiramoth, Jehiel, Mattathiah, Eliab, Benaiah, Obedidom, and Jael. They played the harps and lyres. The priests, Benaiah and Jehaziel, played the trumpets regularly before the ark of God's covenant. That day David gave to Asaph and his fellow Levites this song of thanksgiving to the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord and proclaim his greatness. Let the whole world know what he has done. Sing to him. Yes, sing his praises. Tell everyone about his miracles. Exult in his holy name, O worshipers of the Lord. Rejoice. Search for the Lord and for his strength, and keep on searching. Think of the wonderful works he has done, the miracles and the judgments he handed down. O children of Israel, God's servant, O descendants of Jacob, God's chosen one. He is the Lord our God. His rule is seen throughout the land. He always stands by his covenant, the commitment he made to a thousand generations. This is the covenant he made with Abraham and the oath he swore to Isaac. He confirmed it to Jacob as a decree, to the people of Israel as a never-ending treaty. I will give you the land of Canaan as your special possession. He said this when they were few in number, a tiny group of strangers in Canaan. They wandered back and forth between nations, from one kingdom to another. Yet he did not let anyone oppress them. He warned kings on their behalf. Do not touch these people I have chosen, and do not hurt my prophets. Let the whole earth sing to the Lord. Each day proclaim the good news that he saves. Publish his glorious deeds among the nations. Tell everyone about the amazing things he does. Great is the Lord. He is most worthy of praise. He is to be revered above all gods. The gods of other nations are merely idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Honor and majesty surround him. Strength and beauty are in his dwelling. O nations of the world, recognize the Lord. Recognize that the Lord is glorious and strong. Give to the Lord the glory he deserves. Bring your offering and come to worship him. Worship the Lord in all his holy splendor. Let all the earth tremble before him. The world is firmly established and cannot be shaken. Let the heavens be glad and let the earth rejoice. Tell all the nations that the Lord is king. Let the sea and everything in it shout his praise. Let the fields and their crops burst forth with joy. Let the trees of the forest rustle with praise before the Lord. For he is coming to judge the earth. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His faithful love endures forever. Cry out, Save us, O God of our salvation. Gather and rescue us from among the nations, so we can thank your holy name and rejoice and praise you. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, from everlasting to everlasting. And all the people shouted, Amen, and praised the Lord. David arranged for Asaph and his fellow Levites to minister regularly before the Ark of the Lord's Covenant, doing whatever needed to be done each day. This group included Obed-Edom, son of Jeduthun, Hosa, and sixty-eight other Levites as gatekeepers. Meanwhile, David stationed Zadok the priest and his fellow priest at the tabernacle of the Lord on the hill of Gibeon, where they continued to minister before the Lord. They sacrificed the regular burnt offerings to the Lord each morning and evening on the altar, set aside for that purpose, obeying everything written in the law of the Lord which he had given to Israel. David also appointed Heman, Jeduthun, and the others chosen by name to give thanks to the Lord, for his faithful love endures forever. They used their trumpets, cymbals, and other instruments to accompany the songs of praise to God, and the sons of Jeduthun were appointed as gatekeepers. Then all the people returned to their homes, and David returned home to bless his family.